Welcome back to my channel guys. As always, I'd like to thank everyone for my Sonora and Console Mod projects. I've got a lot to talk about in this video, so let's get straight into it. Over the past two weeks, I've had to put everything aside and really focus on the uh, Delta pickup. Uh, based on all the feedback I've been going through on YouTube and Facebook and here on Discord, I've had, another, I've had another look at the pickup and I've started from the ground up and I've made a lot of changes. Uh, not all what was recommended I did. I don't want to put everything into one mod. I've got tons of other mods planned, so I hope you guys understand that. If there's something you mentioned and I've just and I've not put it in there, there's a reason for that. So let's jump on this other pickup over here and have a look at the changes. So on the engine side, I've been told that the truck was a bit weak. Well, I've added a little bit more power to the bigger engine. In comparison, the Delta pickup is, when fully upgraded, it's got the same power as the Voron. And I didn't really want to make it OP, but still, I've added a little bit more power to the bigger engine. And I've left a 5.7 litre as it is. For the gearbox, I stretched the high gear a little bit. And I also add, added a 6 gear on that one. Uh, and that's in the general purpose. I've left the off-road one as it is because it's really good for uh, moving heavy loads at its low speed. So I've left that. The suspension hauling on stock, I've left that as it is. I haven't touched that. Uh, but people have been asking for a crawler setup. Now, that's that's the thing. I don't want to go all out on this truck. I've got other mods planned that are going to be best suited. I think I think having the Delta pickup as a work truck slash scout is ideal. So, so I've loosened up the lifted suspension just a little bit to help with uh, off-roading but nothing crazy like a crawler setup or anything like that with tires now the biggest thing is that a lot of people have been asking me to put 40 dualies on there now i have tested it on my end and it was just horrible i would have had to change all of the suspensions just to get it to fit the tires clipped horribly into the chassis and it just didn't look good it wouldn't work so i couldn't do that but i have added a new interco irock in uh, two versions so i've got a soft version with extra grip and I've got a stiff version with extra mod resistance and that goes up to size 40 of course I think it looks really good I've also uh, offset the wheels a bit so as the wheels get bigger as you go up in size the offsets uh, gets larger so yeah that looks really good now let's move on to frame add-ons I've added a lot of new stuff in there so I've got a new trunk supplies one. Now I've added that because when you fit the other new add-on, the roll bars, you can't really put the toolbox in there. So this is just to make up for that. Fender flares, recommendation I saw uh, on social media. Now this is the new uh, roll cage. And as you could see, the, uh, the supplies, the, the toolbox, clips into it so that's why I've taken that off and you've got uh, the trunk supplies one now moving on to the trailer hitch I've had to make two of them because because they sit at different points on the vertical axis because the flatbed's lower so you've got the flatbed trailer hitch and the uh, rear box trailer hitch moving on to the flatbed once you've got the flatbed fitted, you've got access to the uh, smaller toolbox that sits underneath. And I've also added the larger toolbox strapped to the top of it. Now, I haven't allowed both those boxes to be selected at the same time. Again, the decision behind that is to prevent it from being OP. Because I think you've got plenty of extra fuel in that big toolbox. Okay, moving on to the visuals. On the rooftop, I've added the... Uh, beacon lights and again this was based on recommendations and I've added uh, LED running lights and a flasher option as well for the front bumpers I've added the uh, off-road bumper 1 and off-road bumper 2 And same for the rear. I've added two off-road bumpers at the rear. But we'll have a better look at that when we get outside. I've added one unique skin. And I've still gone for that sort of uh, dirty texture. But I've removed the scratches on this one. And on the interior, I've added one new, one new custom unique card. 
All right, let's jump out and have a look at the uh, other things I want to mention. As you can see on this one, I'm rocking the Irox Soft. Um, those are the ones that gives you extra grip. And I'll show you how much grip you can get. So that's the new custom rear bumper. I wanted to look, I was going for like that rugged look like you put this together yourself. And I think it came out really well. It's also got the movable shackles on there. And it's got some lights. And same for the front. Got extra lights and uh, moving winch and shackles. And this is the uh, LED running lights at the top, the static version. Alright, another thing I've changed that you probably won't notice, on the inside some people complain that the uh, tint was too strong, so I've completely removed the tint from the first person view. So, uh, clear up the screen a bit. If you stay stopped to the mod once I release the update, you'll still have access to the uh, old version on consoles. But it will probably take a week before it gets reapproved again and gets put back on consoles. Just to give you guys an idea of how much grip uh, this new uh, IROC Soft has. And I've added that grip so if you do off-roading like rock crawling or anything like that, you'll get exceptional grip from that. To make up for it not being so OP, I've reduced the uh, friction in mod. So this won't be a good option if you want to get the best performance from uh, from the mod. Still, the high suspension is still fully capable of getting over really good, really uh, high obstacles. So you could see—I don't know if you—you you could see how uh, it's loosened up a bit if I go over here on the rocks. Yeah, so all those who've been asking for a proprietary crawler setup, I've got other mods coming out that's going to be suitable for that. So that's why I haven't really added everything. I don't want all of my mods to uh, to be the same, you know. So let's jump over to the uh, other version. This is the other front bumper. I've also increased the reach of the gooseneck so there's more clearance at the back of the truck. So let's have a look at the other bumper. 
This is their combat bumper. It's fitted with reverse lights and running lights as well. And this is the uh, flasher beacons as well. Something I want to point out, if you're going to use the roll bars with the Gooseneck trailer, just bear in mind that it has collision on it, so it is going to affect your turning radius with the Gooseneck trailer fitted. Moving on to the uh, crew cab version, the project has been on hold for some time because the models are not accurate. As you can see there, the Delta pickup is a bit wider than the crew cab. Uh, I think it's because whoever modeled them was modeled differently. And I wasn't really too happy with the way it looked. Lengthwise, I think it's alright, but it's the width is off. And let me know what you guys think. If you don't mind, I could carry on with the project or I could use the Delta pickup and remodel it to make it into a crew cap. So just let me know what you guys think about that. Obviously if I uh, have to use a Delta to make it into a crew cap, it's going to take a bit longer before the, before the uh, truck will be ready. But yeah, it's a bit, it's narrower, definitely narrower, only by a little bit, and it's quite noticeable when you pack them up together. The H1 project is coming on fine. I've had a hiccup at the suspensions because a shout out to Ranger for donating the TAC4. As you can see, it's the same one on the uh, MTVR trucks, and to get good ground clearance, you really need big tires on there. So, I don't know, I don't think it's enough ground clearance. Um, I don't think it's alright. So, I'm thinking of doing some work on it to remodel it or reapply weights to it so that's what the hold up is right now that's what the hold up is right now really once i can get the suspension sorted it should be downhill from there and it should be up pretty quickly there's not a lot that's really needed to be done with this model one of the suggestions was to call it the delta m1 or something like that um i'll just stick a name on there whatever name i come up with i want to write it on the body like how the Hummer uh, logo is so yeah you could as you could see you really need some massive tires just to get good ground clearance some of the add-ons are just from the Hummer H2 and you, we have a choice of a few snorkels And we've got the soft top and the hot top. I've also modeled the Predator bumper as well. And I've got tons of color options to choose from.
So that's all. Uh, the update, the Delta update will probably go live tomorrow. So if you are still sub to the truck on consoles, you'll still have access to it. Those on PC will get the update straight away. And you will probably see it on consoles within a week or so. It's currently being tested now, so some other stuff I should in the video could change based on the feedback, but it's pretty much where it, where it needs to be right now. As always, thanks for watching. Take care. Bye bye.